at the Large Hadron Collider, we're accelerating protons to collide with each other and create billions of particles per second. And each one of these collisions we can represent by this bowl right here. And so we have all sorts of different particles in it. Most of them, however, are things we're not really interested in. They're particles we already know about. Every now and then, however, we find one of these guys, a Higgs boson. The problem is, if this half liter bowl represents a single proton-proton collision event, we would fill four Olympic-sized swimming pools with trail mix every second. So that's a lot of data to go through. So how do scientists deal with this huge influx of data? We have something called a trigger system, which is made from custom hardware and quickly and efficiently lets us separate the handful of interesting collision events we want to keep from the billions of less interesting events we want to toss out. The trigger system has two levels. In the first, we're looking at things like the relative energy deposits throughout the CMS detector. And so in this analogy, since we're looking for a Swiss chocolate, we'd look around and see if we see anything brown. If we do, we keep it. And if we don't, it goes to the compost pile. The collision events that have passed the level one trigger are then looked at by the level two trigger system. And here, we're able to actually rummage around a little bit to see what's inside. So we've got some chocolate in this one, but this isn't our Swiss chocolate. This is just from a candy bar. So we're going to reject that. Over here, on the other hand, huh, this looks like a Swiss chocolate. So we're going to send this to the scientists for further analysis. People like me. <laughs> oh, <it's> goopy. <laughs>